Hello everyone, this is Andrew Ventil from MissingRemote.com. I want to take a quick look at CyberLink PowerDVD 11. This is the uh, standalone application, not the one that sits inside the Media Center. I already have a disk in here, so we're just going to fire it up and take a look at uh, how it behaves. You can see here, you get on the right hand side, you get some movie info. Make that go away. Start some playback. So inside of, by right clicking, you get a context menu where um, you can select the menu, the top menu, to get right into the movie. Um, this is also one way that you can select audio languages and subtitles um, if you're in a place where you can actually change those things. We're not because we're on the menu for the disc, but when we get into the playback, I'll show you that again. So I'm going to go ahead and just select a scene so we can get right in that, into it. Okay, so one of the new features with PowerDVD 11 is that the maximize button no longer full screens the player. You still see the um, taskbar down at the bottom here. And the way that you get to full screen is by using this button in the bottom right hand corner, which full screens it to you know take over the entire uh, window. So let's show the uh, context menu again. And now you can see that there's different languages, so we can select like French and turn on uh, subtitles if we want to. It's also a way that you can look at information to see what's actually playing in this case, an MPEG-4 ABC, and the bitrate, and what the audio is as well. So I want to switch back to the um, lossless track, so we can see here that it can support the DTS HD master audio. Um, you can't see it here on the receiver, but the receiver is showing that the uh, player is outputting high definition audio and bit streaming it to the player. So now I'm going to stop the movie. And we get the chance to um, write a comment about the movie. And then we can see some other movies down here at the bottom. Now there's a 3D tab. Now this doesn't work for um, Blu-ray, but it does work for other kinds of files where it will do um, real-time 3D conversion for um, like DVDs and other kinds of files that are played back through the video. I could show it to you, but um, since I don't have a way to hook up my 3D glasses to the recorder here, the video recorder, it wouldn't look right. Um, so we'll just skip that for now. So it does support videos and photos and music and um, devices too. Oh, this is how where you set up. Um, iPhone and Android remote control for it. I don't have either one of those devices, so I can't demonstrate that. Um, that's really all I had to show for this part. Um, I'm going to make another video to demonstrate how PowerDVD works inside of Media Center.